lovelies, Jen and Caitlin here with Fleur & B's Beauty in Pajamas. And today, we're here to tell you about one awesome ingredient. Are you ready? Jojoba oil. Oh my god, Jenna. Yes? What's Santa's favorite ingredient? Oh no. Hoo, hoo, hooba. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you like that joke. That makes me happy. It's <laughs> funny, right? Okay. Anyway, so what we're going to be talking about today with jojoba oil is what it is and where it comes from, the 10 reasons you would want to use jojoba oil, and how do you use it? All right, so let's start with the question that I know is on everybody's mind right now. What the heck is jojoba oil? So jojoba oil comes from seeds of a southwestern shrub, and it was originally used by Native Americans to treat wounds. Fun fact about jojoba oil, it's actually more of a wax than an oil. Now that we've talked about what jojoba is and where it comes from, let's talk about the 10 amazing reasons we all should be using it in our skincare routines. So one, it's like a dream come true. And it moisturizes. Two, it contains antioxidants and vitamin A, D, and E. Three, it's non-comedogenic, meaning it won't clog your pores. Four, it also helps to alleviate any temporary redness or discomfort or irritation. Five, it helps to balance skin's natural oils. Six, it's gentle so it won't irritate your skin. Seven, it helps to cleanse skin, unclog pores, and make those pores appear smaller. Eight, it helps to slow the signs of aging. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> Tried to get artsy with it. Nine, it also creates a protective barrier on your skin that locks moisture in but keeps the nasty stuff out. And what's the last benefit of using jojoba oil? This one's my favorite. It can be used as a makeup remover. Wow. I hate taking my makeup off. I'm so lazy about it. I know you need to do it, but usually I'm like comfy already, and then I have to get up and take my makeup off and wa wash my face, and it's such a chore, but totally necessary. So I like something that's easy to use. It's not gonna like irritate your skin like some other makeup removers. It's not gonna feel harsh, because sometimes it's really hard to get makeup off, and jojoba oil is just like really nice and gentle on your skin. And you know what? That reminds me how to use jojoba oil if you're going to buy it. You need to make sure that you are getting the 100% pure version. 100%. No additives, no toxins. And to integrate it into your routine as a moisturizer, it's actually super easy. You just wash your face like you normally do, use any regular serums or toners, and then take your jojoba oil, put a couple of drops onto your fingertips. Look at that. Looks amazing, right? All right, and then you just rub, rub, rub on your face, and then it just moisturizes. It feels so nice. It doesn't feel heavy. Your skin's gonna feel nice and smooth and glorious and glowing. You can also use jojoba oil through other products because a lot of natural skincare includes jojoba oil. Fleur and Bee's Nectar of the Sea includes it to help boost the serum's positive benefits. You wanna know something else that's amazing about jojoba oil? I don't know, do I? I promise, it's not a joke. <laughs> sure. It's actually great for all four skin types. Yeah! I know. There's, it's rare that an ingredient works for most people or everybody's skin type, so it's great for sensitive skin because it's soothing and gentle. It's great for oily and combination skin because it helps to balance your skin's natural oils. And it's great for dry skin because it actually mimics sebum, which is your skin's natural oil, and it's super moisturizing. So super win all the way around. Well, that's it, folks. We hope that you learned everything you could ever possibly want to know about jojoba oil. And if you want to try out any of Fleur and B's natural 100% vegan products, just go over to our website and you can use code YouTube for 25% off. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our blog for other skincare tips and tricks. And that's all for now. Bye-bye, bees. Bye for now.